What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So for this video, I just wanted to fix a minor issue I've been having with the E90, which is behind me here. So recently I've been having issues with the locking mechanism on the rear driver's side door. I have not been able to open the door from the outside because the door will not unlock if I use the remote to unlock it or even the unlock button from the inside on top of the center console. The only way I can open the door is through the inside with the handle. Uh, if I pull it twice, it'll manually unlock the door. And that is the only way I can open that door, which is a pretty big inconvenience because I find myself using that door a lot, needing to put stuff in the back seat or people needing to open the door to get into the back seat. But yeah, I'm pretty certain it is the door lock actuator that has just gone bad. For those of you guys who've been following the channel for a while, you guys know I've actually already replaced the actuator in my driver's side front door and I did a video on how to do that replacement. So yeah, now two years later, the same thing is happening on the rear driver's side door and that is why I'm pretty sure it is the door lock actuator. So I'm gonna be replacing it in this video. I'm probably not gonna go that much in detail and in depth since I've already done a video on how to do it. It's pretty much the same exact process as the driver's side door. But if you guys wanna check out that video where I go into more detail, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. So yeah, let's get into the video here. So right now I have all of the doors locked. As you can see here, this one's locked, one over there is locked, and then the one back there, and then this one as well is locked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press the unlock button on the remote. You can see they all unlocked except for this one. It is still in the locked position and no matter how many times I press it, it will not unlock. I press the lock button again and they all locked. Press it again, still will not unlock. Like I said, the only way to unlock the door is by pulling the handle twice like this and then the door finally opens here like that. And you can see it's unlocked there. So it does unlock manually with the handle, but it just does not unlock with the remote electronically, I'm assuming. So I close the door and then I lock it again. And it locks, but it will not unlock. So yeah, this has gotten pretty annoying and it's a pretty big inconvenience because I find myself needing to open this door quite often, but I haven't been able to unless I open the door because usually I have my windows up. So I open the driver's side door and then open the handle from here and then I can open the door which has been pretty annoying but hopefully I'll be able to resolve this and fix this with a new door lock actuator. So here I have a new door lock actuator. Well it's actually not new, it's used but it is a functioning used door lock actuator. Now I decided to get a used one this time since the first time I did this replacement on the driver's side door I just got a brand new set from FCP Euro for both doors in the front and it was about like $60 or $70. But this time I figured I'd just save a bit of money and get a used one. So I found this one for about $30 from Straight Six Auto Parts. And it's actually based here in North County, San Diego in Oceanside. I live in Vista, California. They're right next to each other. So yeah, I got this from them for about 30 bucks. If you're looking for any used parts for your BMW, they definitely have a wide selection. So feel free to check them out, Straight Six Auto Parts. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be taking out the one that's in the door and putting in this used one and hopefully that will fix the issue.
here is the actuator I just took out of the door and then here is the new used one I'm going to be putting in. And I was kind of just messing with some of the functions to see like what could have been wrong or why it wasn't working. And I notice uh, this mechanism right here. This is the hole that this piece uh, is secured into and it like moves up when you unlock it and down when you lock it. I noticed that it wasn't, it's not functioning the same way. When I press it, it just wants to go back to where it was. With this one, it moves and stays wherever I move it, like that, like that. You can see this one just, it doesn't stay, it just wants to go back to the bottom. So I'm thinking that's where the issue is, right there. Maybe something's jammed or broken and it's not locking in place. So yeah, I think that's what's causing it. So I'm pretty sure this will fix the locking issue. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the new used door lock actuator. Actually, before I install the new used one, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the electrical connection and see how it functions here. So I connected it there. Now let's go ahead and lock and unlock it. The remote here. You can see now this piece right here is moving properly like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the old one and see if it wasn't moving and then that'll confirm that that's what was causing the issue. Yep, you can totally see it's not moving. And if you can actually kind of see inside the opening there Something's moving, but whatever it is, it's not connected to this white piece here, allowing it to stay in place. So. So let's go ahead and test out this new door lock actuator. Go ahead and test this out here. So that works. Let's go ahead and lock it. Let's make sure this is locked here. Now I'll go ahead and unlock it. And there we have it. We have fixed the issue with this new door lock actuator. The door now finally locks and unlocks properly. So there we have it, another successful replacement with this door lock actuator. And as I mentioned earlier, I did replace the actuator on this door as well. And I did a video on it with a lot more details and visuals on how exactly to do the replacement. So yeah, I have now replaced two door lock actuators on this car. I'm assuming at some point I'm probably going to just replace all of them at some point if I keep the car long enough. It seems to be a pretty common issue with these cars for the door lock actuators to just stop working properly or get jammed or whatever. But as you guys saw, it really isn't that difficult and it's not really a costly repair. Like I said, the door lock actuator was about 30 bucks for a used one. If you want to get a new one, you can get one from FCP Euro for still less than 100 bucks. So yeah, a pretty minor little issue that you can experience with these cars. So I think that is gonna do it for this video, you guys. This was just a simple little kind of vlog video, you know. I just wanted to show you guys the process and give you guys an update on an issue I was having with the car. 
Whenever there is an issue with the car, I always like to let you guys know and do a video on it. That way you get ideas on what you can expect in the ownership of a BMW E90 on stuff that'll fail and you have to replace. So, like I said, door lock actuators are definitely one of them that you're probably going to encounter at some point if you haven't already. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Also, feel free to check out my website, inline6auto.com, if you're looking for aftermarket accessories and mods for your BMW E90. I'll leave a link to it in the description, as always. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.